Ready to go in another top 15 tilt in the Big 12. Your officials, Ray Natilli, Antonio Petty, and Brooks Wells. And the home team in white, Iowa State controls the opening tip. This is a team that plays at a slow pace. Nice cut, cut. <laughs> Caleb Brill coming off the 24-point effort on the road in Lubbock. All 24 coming via three-point range. And he caught Grady Dick napping right there. They go inside. K.J. Oh, yeah. Adams back out to the All-American candidate, Jalen Wilson for three. Very interesting, Rich. In Lawrence, they played through K.J. Adams in that short roll 18 times. They did it right there to start the game. Excellent. More on Adams coming up shortly. Jalen Wilson averaging 28 a game in his last three road games. That one, an unforced error, the first turnover this afternoon. Well, Taman Lipsy coming off his probably worst performance of his freshman year. You saw it out in Lubbock. There's the Hall of Famer, Bill Self. Coming off that national championship last year, has his team right back in the top ten. Here's Grady Dick, his first taste of Hilton Coliseum as a player. Ten on the shot clock. Dick for three. Too strong, and Jalen Holmes corrals it for the close. Now, Cyclones got Kansas on that first play, but they do like to go side to side and play at a slow tempo on the offensive end. A lot of touches. The freshman Lipsy off to Oshuni. Oshuni with the free, line, free throw line jump. St. Bonaventure, 50 year guy, is playing his best of the season for the Cyclones. Great point guard matchup, three versus three. Dewan Harris for Kansas and Tatum Lipsy for Iowa State. Here's Harris coming off a career high tying 18. Wilson, not this time. Lipsy pulls. These two teams met three weeks ago. It was a two point affair, 62 60. Kansas came away with the victory in Lawrence. Cyclones made a lot of jump shots in that game. They're going to have to do something similar today. Oshuni. And the foul is going to go on defensive specialist Kevin McCullough Jr. Watch the big fella from Pleasantville, New Jersey. Takes McCullough into the low post and he's going to shoot a pair. The two transfers from St. Bonaventure, Darren Holmes and Oshuni, have been really, really solid. Oshun had one of his best all-around games this season in a Cyclones uniform against Kansas. 14 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 blocks. Yes. And I meant Jaron. You know, that all five of those St. Bonaventure starters are playing basketball. They were all seniors last year. Went to the NIT Final Four. Oshuni goes 1 for 2. He has 3. And Iowa State's up 2. Token pressure. 1-2-2. Two, two. Usually nothing to make of it here. Just to slow the game down. And back to man. They will be in man, Rich, about 95% of the time. Adams, elbow jumper. And that's been falling lately for KJ Adams. Oshuni, man at the rim. Two feet in the paint. And the follow by Lipsy. Well, they look like they're going to let him play inside, which is a good thing. But I like the idea the home team goes inside early and that establishes some aggressiveness. Here's a three from the corner. McCullough, nothing but air. Cyclone faithful want to blow the roof off Hilton Coliseum with every good play from their team. Kansas is getting that switch, and there's a mismatch inside if Iowa State will look for it. Kelsher off the window. And Bill Self wants to talk it over. The Cyclones have come. What, what uh, TJ Otzenberger has done early is try to force Kansas to switch. And the cheer you hear from Cyclone Alley is for Jazz Kuntz entering the game for the first time. Number five in white has missed all of Big 12 play with a broken finger. First game back. See what Self has after the timeout. Pretty good decision to get Jalen Wilson a jump shot. 
but he comes up empty. Well, Kansas has moved the ball well early. When you play against this defense with five on one side, you have to swing it to the other side. They're doing it, but they haven't made shots yet. Iowa State in the midst of a 7-0 run. KU has missed their last five. Here's Holmes working on the bigger Adams. Left hand rolls off. And as much as Iowa State likes to play it slow, Kansas likes to go, go, go. And Grady Dick turns it over. And you see Jalen Wilson as he gets to the middle, he's looking to that opposite side, but Kansas hasn't taken advantage yet. When we come back, we'll tell you more about one of the most improved players in college basketball, an interesting story. First half, and uh, she's probably, Dad Kevin played football in New Mexico, but she's the basketball player in the family and probably as good a coach to this young man as anybody in that family. Yvonne, uh, you're brave. We're thinking of you. We're praying for you, and uh, your son is just absolutely a wonderful young man. You and Kevin have done an amazing job with uh, him and his two sisters. So we are certainly praying for you. KJ and the Jayhawks find themselves down six. Here's Adams guarding Robert Jones. Jones misses. The color rebounds, and the foul's going to go on Jazz Cruz. Well, you can see what T.J. Anselberger wants to do early. This has been a jump-shooting team in Big 12 play with Kauscher and Holmes and Grill, but he's trying to establish some toughness early in this building, and uh, so far, I'd say so good. Absolutely. Six of their nine points coming inside the payment yep. area. Now, Kansas, they've done what they wanted to do. They just haven't made shots, minus a turnover here or there. He's one for six from the field. Adams, quiet snap. Nicely done. Now, this is what they did in Lawrence. The aggressiveness on the pick and roll makes Adams the outlet. We call it a short roll. And Rich, he's gotten really good at that. In fact, Bill Self compares him to Draymond Green in that regard. It's high praise. He had 15 the last time these two teams met, including the game-winning basket. Grill off the mark. Bodies fly, no whistle. They're letting him play. Yeah, a little too much, both ways. But that's the league. The league has been very physical this year. Here's Adams, top of the key. And there's another one of those Aaron passes. Nice. The 10 on the shot clock. Brady Dick can't connect. Offensive rebound by the leading rebounder in this league. And Jazz Koontz took a shot to the kisser. I, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, both with no call. Koontz will go to the bench. And it'll be Iowa State basketball, the inbound triggered by number two, Caleb Grill. Iowa State comes in reeling a bit. They've lost four of their last six, including that loss Monday in Lubbock where they gave up a 23-point lead with 12 minutes to go against the Red Raiders. Here's Kelsher for three. Much improved shooter this year, but he was 0 for 6 against Texas Tech from beyond. He's played with great confidence. He's a terrific defender also. Here's Wilson, leading scorer, leading rebounder in the Big 12. Cyclones locked in early defensively. That one's picked off by Robert Jones. Lipsy in transition. Kansas is trying to skip the ball to the other side of the court with no success. Cyclones are dialed into that adjustment by Self. Wilson the floater, no. And Trey King on the floor for the first time grabs the rebound. Seven minutes gone by, top 15 matchup in the Big 12, number eight Kansas. On the road against number 13, Iowa State. Here's King. Muscles his way to the bucket. <laughs> Fran, Kansas is shooting two for ten. Why is that? No, part of it is shots that they normally make are not going in, but it's also outstanding defense. They're not getting the looks they got in Lawrence. 
Wilson for three. He is never going to hesitate to pick a big shot. He kind of knew they needed something. He was open. He let it fly. Coming into this game in his last four, Jalen Wilson, 13 for 28 from beyond the arc. He's got two today already. Jones can't make it back to back buckets. Another rebound for Wilson. Joseph Yesifu back up point guard. And that's another errant jump shot by the Jayhawks. Now, Iowa State wanting to go in. He'll go up against Zach Eady today, but the young man from Toronto, seven foot four, Yao Ming like. Purdue may be the best team in the country right now. I'd have to give him the nod, but doesn't take anything away from the incredible year Jalen Wilson has had with himself. Bob Schusen and Dick Vitale on the call for that one. Dan Schulman and Jay Billis in Carolina. Off the timeout, another bucket for Trey King. Now that time he had Joe Yesifu on him, and T.J. Otzelberg has done a good job early of picking up those mismatches. Yesifu, left hand. Here's Holmes, way off the mark. It's only their third three-point attempt of the day. He's going to shoot it. Why not? Wilson. Yep. Third three of the day for Jalen Wilson. He takes 33% of this team's shots when he's on the court. So there's five players, but he's getting a third of the looks, and that's by design. Three for four in the early going from beyond the arc for Jalen Wilson. That rebound goes to Ernest Uday. He's open again. That time a little short. And the foul is going to go on Uday. Now, just let me explain, Rich. Because Iowa State is a help defensive team, all five white jerseys end up on the same side as the ball, which is why over the last couple of years, you think of Chris Beard's defense at Texas Tech at Texas, Iowa State under Otzelberger, you must move the ball from the side where there's a lot of bodies to the other side. So they skip it really well. And that creates shots for guys like Wilson and Dick. State a two-point lead. One of these teams will end up seven and three after today and could have a share of first place in the Big 12. Texas leading the league right now at seven and two. They're playing on the road at a tough Kansas State team. That one almost picked off, and it is. Taman Lipsy with the hustle in the hands. Another precocious freshman from Ames. Good activity right there. Lipsy fourth in the conference in assists and fourth in steals. There you see the quick hands by Lipsy. A call out of bounds. How interesting Kansas is doing. They're treating Taman Lipsy like he's got the flu, and they're staying as far away from it as they can when he gives the ball up. So Yesifu, when they don't switch, becomes a big-time helper. Damon Lips has only attempted 15 three-point attempts this season. Now 10 to shoot. I think I, you got to throw it in. Work on the freshman. That's what Oshuni is doing. Left hand is good. Yep. Got to keep doing that because the big fellow, the freshman, Uday, doesn't have the experience or the minutes. And the crowd loves it as Jazz Kuntz hits the deck again, and another Kansas foul. Well, Uday's going to be a very good player. He hasn't gotten a lot of minutes this year because Bill Self felt he's not ready for this type of action. And what I like about Ashuni, which we saw him early in the year, he's much more aggressive than he was in November and December. Here's Oshuni again. What hand? That one's stripped by DeWan Harris. Yes, yeah, great hands. He read it from the weak side and came over and saved the basket. Leads the conference in assist to turnover ratio. Sixth in the nation. That shot off the mark. They are not going in 
for the Kansas Jayhawks, one of the best offenses in the country. Here's Coots for three. It's good basketball. Grady Dick did a nice job of coming over and taking away that short roll. Kansas in transition, and that is the number one thing on the scouting report that the Iowa State coaches had against Kansas is get back on defense and stop their transition. And they'll shoot the three in transition, which makes them even more deadly. Hey, I'll tell you this. Kansas has not played well, and they're, they're one 8-0 run away from, you know, obviously 8-8 eight, eight would put them in the lead. But it's not all bad for Bill Self right now because Iowa State is not a potent offensive team usually. Bobby Pettiford checking in, zero and blue for the first time as Yesipu goes to the bench. Jayhawks three turnovers in their last four possessions. That Cyclones defense will do that to you. That's going to go on Jared Holmes, his first foul. There are some grown men on this Iowa State roster, Frank. Uh, there's no question. The whole league has them. Here's the elevator play. Dick. Oh. In and out again. The door's opened on the elevator with those two bigs, and they shut. And uh, Dick had a great look. Couldn't finish it. You'll see that every five games. Inside a concerted effort by the clones to do that jazz Koontz gives them a fresh set of seconds and unfortunately Caleb bro comes up empty Koontz with the kickball And a timeout on the floor with Iowa say the habit of knocking off top 25 teams They have 10 top 25 wins over the last two this year, they're 5-2 and two against top 25 teams and 3-1 and one against top 10 teams. And this was supposed to be another one of those rebuilding years, and he's got the number 7 class in the country coming in. Some outstanding freshmen. Omaha Baloo, McDonald's All-American, six foot eight, forward, going to be a terrific player. There's that Adams. nicely done. Yep. And what do they tell K.J. Adams? Dunk everything. Yeah, and he's so good. He's like a tight end, like... He's so reliable. He's always going to be open, especially because of the way Iowa State pressures, guards the baseline drive, and also in those pick and roll plays we talked about. Kalsher off the catch. First three for Gabe Kalsher. He has five, and the lead is five. First three of the game, too. Look at this. Grill got his hands on it. It's going to stay Kansas basketball. When there's a when there's a baseline drive, Rich, there's going to be help. So watch what happens. KJ's is going to find himself right in the middle as Jones comes over. And think of Travis Kelsey going about eight yards, turning around, looking for a pass. I know Jayhawk fans like that one. And, and that's what he is. He's like a reliable receiver. And they can throw it to him and he can make plays because he's got such a good IQ. Kelsey on hand at the fob in their Sunflower Showdown game. There's the first three for the freshman, Grady Dick. And they are very fortunate, Iowa State, because Grady's gotten open four or five times. That's his first one. But if you give him room, Rich, you know what he did in Lawrence in the last meeting. 21, three threes in the second half. That is too easy, but good for Grady Dick. He's got a little bit of a connection to this place, doesn't he? I would say so. His mom and dad, who are, they get more airtime than you and I do. Yeah, I know it. There's, there's Carmen in the middle with the glasses. Her husband, Bart, on the right. They're Grady Dick's parents. Carmen was a sensational basketball player right here in age. She was a player for the Cyclones back in the late 80s. 1,000 points. Yeah. the Iowa State female athlete of the year. Grew up, grew up about 70 miles northeast. Uh, you can't leave Grady open, and, and good for him because he would love to play well here today. Kelsher, tough shot, Dick the rebound. Nice pass. Oh, he threw it in between two. Let's give mom a little bit more love. Of course, back in those days, she was Carmen Jaspers, but there she, are, she, there she is with all her basketball pictures on the wall. Led ISU in scoring almost 16 a game back in 87 88. And her senior year in 1989, she ended up with a thousand points in her career. I got something for you that you probably don't know. You usually do. No, we'll wait for a dead ball. 
And we're going to tell you something about her that's pretty amazing. Trey King showing the range. Remember, he's only played the second half of the year, the transfer from Eastern Kentucky. But with Coons back, King off the bench, this becomes a more potent Cyclone team. Under six minutes to go. And that's traveling violation called on Bobby Pettiford. I only go back and finish up with Grady's mom. She once made February of uh, 1988. She went 15 for 15 from the foul line against the Kansas Jayhawks. How about that? Yep. Now she's wearing the Jayhawks blue and red. By the way, sure. she taught her son to shoot pretty well. <laughs> I would say so. All three of Grady's older siblings also KU grads. Tamas not going to shoot that. He's more of a passer. Gives it up to Jones against Adams. Oh. In and out. And Adams the rebound. Jones shot that ball without looking at the basket. Adams did a nice job of walling him off. Robert Jones has been much more aggressive this year offensively. Offensive foul as Gabe Kesher got in the way of Jalen Wilson. Watch Kesher move his feet. Let's watch Wilson. I don't know. That, that's a that's a net. Either either or. I'm going to stop officiating. I just know the game's a little too physical. Both ways. Side to King again. Now MJ Rice getting some burn. And King takes advantage. Well, they've done that early today. Anytime TJ Altsberger feels a mismatch, he goes right at it. That time it was MJ Rice, the freshman. Trey King, young man from Lexington, Kentucky. A couple good, solid seasons for the Colonels at Eastern Kentucky. It took him about two years to finally get eligible. Went from Eastern Kentucky, Georgetown, didn't play there, came here. We watched him practice last year, and he's finally getting the job done. Trey King has scored eight of Iowa State's last 13 points. They have a six-point lead with under five to go. Zach Clements on the floor now, 21 in blue for Bill Self. Trying to dial up the right combination to go on a run, which they have yet to do inside Hilton Coliseum. Here's Grill on the breakaway. Blocked by Clements, no call. And somehow Devin Lipsy got the ball. Funny, Tom Green broke it down nicely. We talked about he watches more film than anybody. <laughs> and we were talking about Lipsy and how he would respond today because he played very poorly the other night, which is uncharacteristic. 1-3-1 one, one zone out of the timeout. They'll do that once or twice a game. Just give you a different look. It's like the fastball pitcher throwing a little change up. And now they go back to man. And they took a lot of time off the clock there. Yeah, five on the shot clock for the Jayhawks. Dick guarded by Kelsher. Dewan Harris short on the three. McCuller gets it back for Kansas. And that three off the mark. Foul on the floor, says Brooks Wells. Yeah, that was pretty good by TJ. What he did was he changed his defense. They went 1 3 1 for the first 10 seconds and then they switched back to man. By the time Kansas recognized that, they were it was a low clock. Amazing. And I just love watching Jalen Wilson play this year. Richard. You know, he broke his leg as a freshman, had the red shirt. He's a fourth year junior. And it's just amazing how, when you get to be an upperclassman for Bill Self, the freedom he gives you. Look at the hands on defense by Wilson. I mean, he makes scoring 20 a game in the Big 12 look easy. And he's going to be, a, he's going to hang a banner in Allen Fieldhouse because he's going to be an All American. Nice cut. Lipsy blocked by McCullough. Jayhawks love to run. There's the foul by Lipsy. It's his first. Juan Harris, the steadying force for these Kansas Jayhawks. Juan 
finally broke out. Watch the lob here. Vermont had 18 against K-State. There's that skip pass. Out of the double team, Wilson. Yep. Go to the line for the first time. That's really good. So now Jalen knows they're closing out on the three-point line. And what makes him so difficult to guard is that he can kill you from the perimeter. And he's got that physicality to get to the basket. There's Wilson, 78% from the free throw line. We have a women's basketball triple header coming up for you tomorrow afternoon on ESPN2. Number 11, North Carolina, and Louisville in our first game at noon. Then it's undefeated, number three, LSU, taking on Texas A&M. And we cap the afternoon with a Big Ten matchup between number 10, Ohio State, and number eight, Maryland. And I can't believe Diamond Miller, the Terps' great players, is finally a senior. What a career she's had in the Big Ten. Yeah. Hey, these Iowa State Cyclones. Yeah, oh yeah, Ranked big one tonight. In the country. Baylor tonight here. A lot of these people will stick around. Probably go to Provisions Lot F for lunch. And then be back here at 5 o'clock to see Ashley Jones play. Kalsher double teamed in the post. Not going to shoot it. They go back inside. See how they're playing. And that's good defense by McCullough. One on the shot clock. It's good if it goes and it does. Largest lead of the game for the Cyclones, 29-21. Well, why was the big guy double team? Because they play off Lipsy. Take a look. Look where Lipsy is. He throws it back in. They double team him with McCullough. And so now Iowa State's in a scramble. And then the basketball gods, every now and then they raise, they rear up and you catch a break. I don't know if you can call this team Hilton Magic. It's more like Hilton hard work. Ten on the clock. Brady Dick baseline, no good. Kelsher the rebound. That time Kansas did what they wanted. Iowa State closed out defensively, and Brady just couldn't make the shot. Clones a chance to extend the lead to double digits. CTV, and I know you're excited to see Colin Filipowski, the yeah, fabulous freshman. That is a young Duke team. They only have one returner from that Final Four team, Jeremy Roach. And Kyle Filipowski is in contention for ACC Player of the Year. He's already locked up the Rookie of the Year award. Uh, he's a double-double machine for first-year coach John Shire. Ten to shoot. He's Number gonna. ten with the ball. Oh, that dunk missed from close range by Adams. And KJ took off a little bit too far out and had to reach out. Bad break. Kansas is low in a half this season was 25 against Tennessee. They're in danger of eclipsing that today. This team averages nearly 77. There's that help. Playing off Lipsy. King. He's in double digits. 10 points for Trey King. Remember what we said. They went inside on the first play of the game. They're not relying on jump shots today. It's all in the paint. 18 points in the paint for the Cyclones. Offensive foul on Wilson. Well, Jalen Wilson, we told you he could score in a lot of ways, but that time, out of control, and Ashunui, Ashunui was waiting since Thursday. Now, interesting, 48 seconds. Does T.J. Otzelberger go two for one here? The, the number for me is 42, and I don't think they're going to get to it, so they're not going to go two for one. They're going to just play the possession game here. Inside. You don't need to double team. Let's see if he's not going to be a scoring threat. That's just letting a quarterback throw down the field. One second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Largest lead of the game for Iowa State. And the hold for one. Yes, a foot. Harris traveled. That's the 11th Jayhawk turnover in this first half. And 3.9 left for the Cyclones to get one he more shot. He got four dribbles right here. If I'm Lipsy, now Joe Yesifu should come up. That's what he's going to do. 
Whoever catches this ball has four dribbles. Give and go. Holmes blocked out of bounds. A good defensive stand at the end, but it's been a fast break for us. Very interesting. Only four free throws shot in this first half. Two each way. And you know if you're not making shots, Bill Self's going to drive the ball to the basket. There's McCollum. Scoreless in the first half. Good help. Harris gets the first bucket in the second half. Remember, he's coming off 18 points against K-State. Previous five, a total of 13. And we've seen throughout the year that if he has to score, he can get the job done. Kalsher creates some space. Badly misses the three, but Lipsy gets it back. Didn't touch rim, so 10 on the shot clock. Three to shoot. Holmes drives instead of shoots. And it's off the window too strong. Good challenge by McCullough at the rim. Look at K.J. Adams leading the transition. Brady Dick held to just one three-point field goal in the first half. That one way off the mark. Four for 15 from three for the Kansas Jayhawks. State looking to hold home court, which they have done all year. Jared Holmes with the three. The Bonaventure connection. Mashuni under control in that high paint area off the pick and roll. That's his first points of the afternoon, but Jared Holmes averaging 20 a game at home in his last three. Wilson triple teamed. And the foul is going to go on Iowa State. Let's go back and watch that last play in pick and roll if your big guy can catch it in the high paint Under control it makes him really effective and that's something he probably did 500 times at St. Bonaventure with Jaron Holmes the two transfers Leading scorer overall for the Cyclones 13 and a half a game for number 13 and white Wilson And the foul is it before the shot? Uh, you can see what we talked about. If you're not making shots, Bill Self will manufacture plays at the rim to get himself to the get uh, Wilson to the foul line. Well done, right there. They don't play the big bully ball too bigs anymore, but when they do need to go inside, Kansas has a way to do it. And Wilson misses the first. Of note, that foul called on Gabe Pasher. That's his third for the Jazz points. Will take his spot on the floor. Koontz playing his first game in Big 12 play this season, coming off a broken finger on his non shooting hand. Wilson one for two. He has a Baker's dozen. He's done the bulk of the scoring today for Kansas. He can shoot the three, and he's the best rebounder. Oshuni had hand. some space, but Kevin McCullough shut him down. The bump and the bucket. What a move by Jalen Wilson. So good in transition. He can handle it, and he can fly up the court. And take a look right here. All four of those perimeter players can handle it. That's a call that literally could go either way. Yeah. If you call that a charge, this fan base loves it. A lot of people in the state of Kansas saying, nah, that's a block. And how about this, Fran? More than two minutes into the second half, that's the first fast break points and the first points off turnover for the Kansas Jayhawks. Started by Kevin McCullough, who defensively after the, was not good in the Baylor game. Talk to anybody around this team, they'll tell you. Last three games, he's been the defensive demon that we think he can be. Shuni, there's tapped away. Here's Dick. And we're going the other way. 
Turn about fair play. One and one. Take a look right here. There's a steal by the by Harris, who's got that 6'6 wingspan. There's the drive. Less contact, but fair enough. This Iowa State team prides themselves on taking charges. To my count, that is the fifth offensive charge they've taken already today. A bucket here, they have their largest lead of the game. Coots can't give it to him. Loose ball, who wants it? McCullough's got it. Kansas has ratcheted up that defense. McCullough, a big reason why. There you go. KJ Adams. KJ, KJ Mato living with that in Lawrence. Again, he opens up, he catches it, always under control. 6 0 Jayhawks run. But the lead is still seven for Iowa State. Looking to even up the season series and. If Texas loses, they'll claim a share of first place in the Big 12. And that foul is going to go. Iowa State will go the other way. I've got a feeling that uh, Kansas is starting to find its groove. And Kevin McCullough has been a big reason why. He's made two or three hustle plays on the defensive end that have led to baskets. You look at Harris and McCullough, two of the better defensive players, certainly in the Big 12 and in the country. We talked about the chess match from game to game in the Big 12. Adjustments at halftime. Huge. There's one. And there's another great feed yep. from KJ Adams to Grady Dick. What you like about that is Bill Self kind of saved that, knowing that Iowa State would pressure. That's going to go on to Juan Harris. This is what we call adjustments. You notice team pressures you. So how do you create a way to use their pressure against them? Quad one wins more than anybody in the country. Iowa State not far behind with six. Why is the net so important? All right, well, because it's the tool that the NCAA now uses, an analytical tool besides your eye test, uh, to determine the powerfulness of your wins, your schedule. And you know, Larry Keating, the late Larry Keating, was assistant athletic director in Kansas, but just a great guy. He probably, he and Bill Self, they have always put together a great non-conference schedule. So, Rich, even when they go into the best league in the country, which this league has probably been the last decade, their, their net ranking is always high. Bill Self never shies away from playing great competition, uh, needless to say. In fact, we were talking last night. Think about Champions Classic. Kansas is the only team that's ranked right now amongst Kentucky, Michigan State, and Duke. And, Bill Self stands the test of time here in the Like for two for Holmes, but Jones with the offensive rebound. Can't convert. Out of bounds, it'll stay Iowa State basketball. And we talked about the improvement of Robert Jones, but he's he only shoots a little over 50% at the rim. And that one he'd love to have back. That's a chippy. Point play. Little zone now. 1-3-1 one, one against out of that free throw. Wilson left alone. Way off the mark from King Cruz. Oh, he sensed Kansas making a run. The lead is still nine for the clones. Floater off the mark. And McCullough wants to run. Here's Dewan Harris spotted up. Chased down by Grady Dick. Loose ball. Holmes comes away with it. It's the Jared Holmes show. And this young man, Rich, I mentioned the academic prowess, a politics junkie. You'll likely see him hosting Meet the Press in about 15 years. He's a great young man, well-rounded from Romulus, Michigan, right outside of Detroit by the airport. Exactly the kind of transfer that T.J. Otzelberger was looking for this offseason. He's old, he's experienced, and he doesn't get rattled in tough environments.
One of three 24-year-olds on this roster, Jaron Holmes. It looked like McCullough and Wilson were wrestling. Again, a lot of contact today. They let it go. They let both teams play. I don't think any coach has had a major beef with the physicality. The last Kansas lead was 3-2 in the opening moments of this ball game. That one off Wilson's foot. Saved by Harris. Here's the lob, and Dick couldn't handle it. It goes out of bounds. Broken, broken play. Turtle. Yeah, broken play, Richard. Brady did go up and get that one, too. Just lost concentration. Take a look. I mean, Brady did play above that bat, above that rim, and he just can't hold on. Their season high in turnovers is 17. There's still 14 minutes left in this one, and they have 13 already. Well, this is a great defensive team, needless to say. That's been the hallmark of T.J. Oxford. Lipsy. Just his 16th three-point attempt this season. And again, Iowa State's defense thwarting transition buckets. Here's Harris. Short on the three. They made a bunch of them in their win against Kansas State earlier at Fog Allen Fieldhouse. Not so much today. Adam King off the mark from the close range. Well, Kansas caught a break because yeah. on the switch, King was wide open. Wilson steps through, gets fouled, and will go to the line. I like what Jalen Wilson is doing, Rich. We've seen him do it throughout his career, and more so today. He knows how to score. When he's on from three like he was early, he'll take it. But he also knows that if he goes to the rim with physicality, He's going to either score or get fouled, and that's a good strategy. And Kansas with 13.25 to go in the game already in the bonus. They'll be shooting free throws on every subsequent Iowa State foul. When you think of the better players in this league, Keontae Johnson from K-State, this guy at the line, Marcus Carr, Texas, they are as physical on the offensive end as your defense is on the defensive end, and you have to play that way. 18 for Jalen Wilson. The winner here today will have potentially a share for first place in the league at the halfway point. Oshuni with the left hand. Now, KJ is going to give you resistance, but Oshuni. He's just got a side. That's a size advantage right there. That one knocked out of bounds by Trey Kidd. Watch how patient. We talked about older players. Let's watch how patient Oshun is in the post. Backing his man down to the middle and then spinning right there like Kevin McHale. Really well done. Excellent footwork from the big fellow from New Jersey. Over 1,100 points and over 900 rebounds in his career. Doubled in the post. And KJ Adams takes it strong to the 10 and gets fouled for his efforts. Good find by Jalen Wilson. He was double teamed on the baseline. It was a good double. And watch KJ. He always works himself to the, uh, the top of the uh, restricted arm. And there he is, right there. Free throw shooter. Trey King will check out. Yeoman like work from zero and white. And Jazz Coots back on the floor for the Cyclones. Boy, King became eligible early in Big 12 play. Coots was out. Those two guys just deep in that bench. Adams one for two from the strike. Some more token pressure by Kansas. With Iowa State up by 10, 12 and a half to go. And Jaron Holmes is the secondary point guard when they rest Lipsy. Good 
ball movement by the clones. Holmes again. He's calling home again. Offensive foul says Antonio Petty on Kevin McCullough Jr. And that's the fourth on McCullough. Can't lower your shoulder. Easy call. Bill Self's not arguing it. And again, when you play Iowa State, you're playing against one of the best defensive teams in the country. They're first in the nation in turnover percentage. Not to mention, of course, the Hilton Magic. They win 75% of their games in the 50-plus years they've been playing ball in this gym. Undefeated this year at 11-0. There's a turnover. Got almost five nice. minutes without a bucket. Kansas Rich trying to get a little momentum off to a good start in the second. Going to be just the third Kansas Jayhawk in the Bill Self era to end the season, averaging 20 plus points in a season, and he's got 19 today. And he would be number one if the season ended today. Frank Mason and Wayne Simeon. Two and three right now. Ochai was in that 20 range last year and then slipped down into the high teens. Ochai Abaji now with the Utah Jazz. That bucket gives Wilson 20. Six straight 20 point efforts for Jalen Wilson, who is on an epic tear. 14th of the season. At the roll. What a sick pass. Yes. shooting. What a play. They overloaded the right side. So there was nobody from the backside to help. It was one on two. You either guard the roller or the shooter on the weak side. Excellent design. That's Largest good. lead of the game. Yeah. Right. Rich, great out of timeout stuff. Dick, back cut. Now it's Yesifu. And the three ball has not fallen for the Jayhawks nope. today. Excellent design. Great cut by Grady Dick. And Yesifu has to make that shot. Skip pass. This play is set up to overload the right side of the floor. This is out of a timeout. So when a Sunni rolls, it's either him. If Wilson comes over, King is on the back side. You see Wilson never commit, and the freshman just gets caught out high. That foul's going to go on Bobby Pettiford, his second. Kansas is shooting two free throws the remainder of this game. They would be wise to start driving the ball inside just like Iowa State is. Yes, sir. What are you saying about no fouls called in this game? <laughs> well, you know, I've always said. Officials make adjustments to Brill. Nice That's touch off the glass. That, that cannot happen. But a great cut by Brill. Bill Self's not going to be happy about that. 1-3-1 one, one now. Again, the fastball's been working. They throw the changeup at Kansas. There's another turnover. The first time these two teams met, no team led by more than seven points. This afternoon, it's been all Iowa State. And the Cyclones are coming off a two-game losing streak. Deep three. Got it! <laughs> and Bill Self the seat wins. Not to say they've taken, them, taken it easy today. They haven't. But Iowa State, give them credit for bouncing back from what was the by far the ugliest loss of the season. Kansas has not scored in six minutes of court time. And Caleb Grill just saved the basket right there. They cheated up to get the steal. Adams had somebody open on the cut. Grill knocked it out of bounds. 
Still plenty of time left. Ten minutes to go. Adams threw it away. And now Lipsy will settle things down. Nice poise. Freshman has had a great bounce back game. Lipsy with eight assists. Almost got number nine there for Shuni. Triggered the three. He can make that. Got to go. Three to shoot. Lipsy does. It's going to be short. And a shot clock violation. And when I think of Tatum Lipsy's second half in overtime in Bubble, it reminded me of a freshman quarterback in football who has that three or four interception game because it was so uncharacteristic of him that you knew he would at least learn his lesson. And today, I think when you talked about eight assists, turnovers, low, good bounce back. Yeah, just one turnover for the freshman. And the ball out of bounds, it'll stay Kansas basketball. Much more Monte Morris like today. Because Rich, quite frankly, he panicked and loved it. Yeah. Speaking of Iowa State point guards, congrats to Tyrese Halliburton making the all-star yep. game. For the Indiana Pacers, leading the NBA in assists. Eight to shoot. You know Wilson wants to. A tough two, and it goes. Hardest shot of the day for Jalen Wilson. Good footwork, good pivot. Now 22 from Wilson, but he's not getting any help from any of his teammates. And remember now, Iowa State can play slow. They do not mind a slow tempo and long shot clock possessions. According to Ken Palm stats, they are 315th in the nation in adjusted tempo. And they don't mind it at all because they grind you with their defense. Jones. Lipsy got it back. Holmes for three. He's going to get carpal tunnel syndrome, syndrome holding that phone up for so long. A lot of long distance from Jaron Holmes, but finally an answer from beyond the arc. This time from Joseph Yesifu. Well, they needed that from Yesifu. He's shooting 28% on the season from deep. Kansas just five for 20 from three. Lipsy again. <laughs> Pettifer. <laughs> Iowa State has forced Kansas to fall in love with the three ball. Unfortunately, the three ball has not loved them back today. Grill rises up and can't knock it down. And Wilson wants to run. Traveling violation called on Bobby Pettifer. Rich, as good as Jaron Holmes has been tonight, he came in shooting 31% from three. In half, they certainly got the job done. Five of 12. And a major turnaround for Jaron Holmes. Scoreless in the first half. All 15 of his points have come in the last 13 minutes. Just got to wonder, good defense. Got to wonder what Jaron Holmes and Oshuna Shuni are feeling like. You know, they had, they had great careers at St. Bonaventure for Mark Schmidt. And I talked to Adrian Wojnarski, our NBA expert insider. And he told me, he said, I got to know these kids. He's a graduate of St. Bonaventure. He said, two great young men who chose to play their fifth year here. That's, Get a chance to see them and do a little Hilton magic. They loved him up in Olean and they love him here in Ames. Do you know where Hilton magic came originated? Uh, I believe it goes back to Buck Turnbull from the Des Moines Register. 1989. Went over Norm Stewart's number three ranked Missouri Tigers. You know, what was it today? 14, 15 degrees when we got here. There's nothing like February in the old Big Eight, Kansas. Iowa State, 
Larry Brown, Johnny Orr, later on Roy Williams. Basketball at its best in college. 24 now for Wilson. If Iowa State can hang on, this will be their fourth win against the top 10 team this year. That's the most in program history in a season. Here's King. He had 10 in the first half. Holmes. No heat check for him. King. Little out of his range. Here comes Harris. Brady Dick's been held in check, but they get the foul with Dick along the baseline. They chase on a shooter shooting his fourth. Yeah, and they, they chased Grady off the line. They've done a great job of chasing him off the line, and uh, according to the officials, the shooter did not get there in time. Brady Dick has made 19 straight free throws, one of the best shooters in the country. Make it 20 in a row, but just six points today for Brady Dick. So shooting at the bench, and Trey King goes as well. So now Iowa State going a little smaller against Kerry. Gives him a better ball handling team out on the perimeter. Jones still the hustle guy inside. Two free throws from Grady Dick. Cuts the lead to 14 for Iowa State. What does Kansas have to do now to chip in? Speed the game up defensively, get stops, and then push the ball in transition. They can score and make this, uh, they can they can definitely cut into this deficit. Plenty of time left. If you're the Cyclones, you cannot put it on cruise control. That would mean you've got to stay aggressive with your shooting. Inside out. Here's Kelsher with four on the shot clock. Short on the pull-up. And Kansas will love driving this ball downhill. Off the hands of Adam and into the arms of Jaron Holmes. That is just another Bill Self is beside himself right now. That's another four-point play. So two threes on. Mixing it up. They'll show the zone and then they'll go man, which is exactly what they're doing. Five minutes to go. Again, they love to go side to side. Here's Grill. And he's going to be fouled by Grady Dick. You know what you love about Caleb Grill? He's not Jeff Hornacek. But he came here, he backed up Ty Halliburton, Sheer Bolton. He left to go to Las Vegas with TJ Otzelberger. Originally recruited by Iowa State when he was in high school in Wichita. And how about the senior year he is having coming back? home so to speak playing in front of these great fans and as far as regular season goes this will be his last time playing against the kansas jayhawks coming in he had never scored more than three points in a game against kansas today he has eight and now nine he's had a great senior year that performance against north carolina where they were number one that'll be remembered for a long time in this, these parts that was their first top 10 win of the year now they're looking for number four against the eighth-ranked Jay Jayhawks, but they won't go quietly. If Joe Yesifu can make some of those threes at a more consistent rate, he just makes Kansas a better team down a stretch of the season. Ball out of bounds right in front of us. Good hands by Juwan Harris. has only done that 10,000 times in his four years under Bill Sell. Scoreless in this game and remains that way. Nice adjustment by Iowa State. They switched to two bigs and he couldn't get by Jones. Big run energy, Frank.
Carter on the other end with Big Rob. He held the fort down when McCullough tried to get by him. This Iowa State defense has forced Kansas into 19 turnovers. That's a season high for them. McCullough gets the bump. Unbelievable. They showed well in the SEC Big 12 challenge. Kansas getting a test today. Obviously, it's not the same Kansas team that has dominated this league. They're still really good, Rich, but I'm impressed with the fact that Iowa State, after the heartbreak, you know, you say, well, if they win that game in, in, in Lubbock, maybe they don't come in with the same oomph that they've shown today, but they've responded well. Their coach is a great young coach, matching wits with a Hall of Famer today. The league's amazing when it comes to the great coaching. Five coaches have been in the Final Four. Yep. And two are headed that way someday with Tang and Otzelberg. Two on the shot clock. And Lipsy draws the foul with the shot clock running down. This city has put out some guys that ended up being pretty good players for the Cyclones. They call them the Little Cyclones at Ames High School, but Freddie Hoiberg and Harrison Barnes, Doug McDermott, Dick Snyder back in the 70s, 60s and 70s, played in the NBA for a while. This young man is, uh, he certainly has shown the poise. I mean, they lost Tyrese Hunter yeah. to go to Texas, who's, you know, been good. Imagine if Tyrese Hunter were on this team, playing the way he did last year. And got to mention Jeremiah Williams, who's out with an Achilles. He transferred over from Temple. They thought he was going to be the starting point guard. No season. question. Off the mark. And you can use those three words frequently this afternoon for the Kansas Jayhawks. Just not their day shooting the ball. In a league where there is a razor thin margin of error. It's almost odd to see a score that's more than 10 points. But Iowa State has dominated most of this contest. McCullough Fuller. Rich, if you go back, I just did the numbers. If you look, and assuming this is a loss, the last four losses in Big 12 play, 24 of 92 from behind the arc. You live by the three, you die by the three sometimes. They can usually beat you without making threes, but when they're as abysmal as that is, that's a little over 25%. It's going to be hard to beat teams in this one. Remember, Tech, Kansas has to get on a plane, get home in two or three hours, and they got to get ready for Texas on Big Monday. Now, Texas is at Kansas State today. So you talk about a tough road trip yeah. for Rodney Terry and his group. That's certainly one. And if Kansas State can hold serve and beat Texas at home, that will drop Texas to 7-3 in the league standings. And if everything holds the way it is now here in Ames, that would give Iowa State a share of first place in the Big 12 halfway through the regular season. A team that was picked eighth in the preseason. How about the insanity of the Big 12 tournament in Kansas City? Huh. Last time, it's going to be 10 teams. There's Wilson again. 26 for Jalen Wilson. But that's about the only bright spot for the Kansas Jayhawks. Grill off the mark. Good challenge by Michael Jankovic, the walk-on who's in the game. He can really shoot it. Look at, look at downhill drive. Wilson gets fouled. Our college basketball lineup rolls on all afternoon right here on ESPN. At 4 Eastern, number one Purdue takes on Indiana. Bob Schusen, Dick Vitale on the call. Then the greatest rivalry in this sport and maybe any sport. North Carolina Duke squaring off at Cameron Indoor. Dan Schulman, Jay Billis. Will be behind the microphones on that one. First time since 1961. No Roy Williams, no Coach K, no Dean Smith. Here's Holmes. What a second half for Jaron Holmes. 15 points. That one off the mark from Lipsy. 
I like that he took it. Yeah. I like that he took it. You're gonna, he needs to be a little bit more aggressive offensively. Kansas has won the last three games in this building against Iowa State. That streak goes by the boards, as does the overall seven-game Kansas win streak against Iowa State in this, their 256th meeting between the Clones and the Hawks. A rivalry that started all the way back in 1908. How about Bill Self? He'll drop to, what, 14 and 6 as the head coach. This is his 20th year. 0-4 as an Oklahoma State Cowboy. Of course, that'll be a sixth loss today. I've had, I've had many talks with Bill Self about this league, and as much as he hates to lose, probably as competitive as there is in the sport, this league has made Kansas better, and Kansas certainly makes this league better because they've been the bully on the block, so to speak. Right? That's figuratively, folks, not literally. And, and you said to me the other day, you think it is well within reason that the team that wins the Big 12 will have five or maybe six losses. Of course. Oh! Or should be a Baker's dozen. This loss will drop Kansas to six and four in Big 12 play. Shot clock is off. And it's academic. Iowa State remains undefeated inside Hilton Coliseum, 12 and 0 this year. And T.J. Otzelberger and company with their fourth top 10 win in this campaign.